Who's an Andor? Where's an Andor? Why is an Andor? And then there's Willow with Will Wheaton. Not Will Wheaton. That's right, friends. It's your main man Z here from Our Reviews Will Kill You to give you a look, a taste, if you will, of Andor and Willow. Apparently, at Star Wars Celebrations, which has been hijacked into Disney Plus Celebrations. Like, I don't understand. If you're at Star Wars Celebrations, you release... I get the Andor trailer. Sounds great. It's Star Wars, supposedly. It's the thing. Okay, I'll, I can live with that. But to drop a Willow trailer, and then to also drop a teaser for Indiana Jones, just because it's Lucas... Like, it's not Star Wars Celebration at that point. You're just hijacking it. You're turning it into Comic-Con just because you want to promote stuff because you don't want to pay for comic-con you're like i already got star wars celebrations i can just throw this out there so I, I don't understand this this is the future of star wars that's what i'm being told it's what every mainstream press media is telling me and or is star wars like i've never seen star wars it's totally different totally new totally reimagined first of all is this Diego? It's Diego Luna. Who does he have pictures of? Is he servicing Kathleen Kennedy and we just don't know it? How does this guy, surprise, surprise, the man dies? Do we care about a dead man? Am I going to watch an entire series, 12 episodes about Cassian Andor? Secondly, he's not even in the train. He's barely even in the, in the trailer. And if he looks like how he looks, I don't know that anyone's going to watch the trailer. So we'll just briefly go through the trailer here. You've got this dude. I don't know. What is he banging on the drums? Like, what am I? What is even going on here? Is he a bell tower? He's a human bell tower. What am I missing here? Why is this a thing? Time grappler. That's what he is. I should just turn on the closed captioning. It'll tell me every time what I'm looking at. It's a time grappler because they have droids. They have, I'm sure they have time. They don't need a man to go up and bang on these things. Whatever. They just wanted something cool for the sake of it. Looking cool. Right? That's what our new Star Wars. I've never seen that before. I have genuinely never seen a man walk up and bang on a thing before so that he could tell me the time. Bong, bong, the time is. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, there seems... The one vibe that I got from this... There's an awful lot of humans in this. And you know what I like about Star Wars in general? Lots of crazy aliens and droids. You know what I don't see in this? Any crazy aliens or droids. Hmm. Kind of weird how that works. See an awesome, like cast of humans all over the place every type of human you can think of don't see any aliens don't see any crazy droids kind of confused random people going to be super awesome Ooh, look it's it's cassie and andor like a no one asked for this this is a prequel to rogue one which no one asked for someone needs to lose their job for this i'm telling you this is ridiculous. I, like, how can... It, how, does this excite anyone about anything? It, it, he's narrating. I didn't even realize that. You could at least have some big name stars in this. You could, but they don't. Like, I want to see, you know, angry white men. Fat, angry white men. telling You know, that's exactly what the uh, Empire is now. This is, this is ridiculous. This is completely... Re I, I like that there's different locations. I, I think that's kind of cool. I like seeing different planets, not just desert planets. They finally got another set other than just going to Tatooine. Congratulations. In fact, they loved this new set of this random city that they're going to film not only 12 
episodes, they're going to film 12 more. You're going to get 24 episodes of Andor. What? Who greenlit this? Who greenlit this? This is insane. I like, uh, there's not even a good villain. Uh, like, what am I? What, what is. Uh, and we all know what happens. So for 24 episodes, Cassian Andor is going to have plot armor because he can never die. Because we all know where he dies. Why would I want to watch any of this? Why? Someone please explain it to me. Please tell me in the comments below why I should watch this. This seems like insanity. So Star Wars Celebrations gives us our first look at Andor. Great. Going to be released on August 31st. And it's unmistakably Star Wars. Andor looks like something quite new. The growing rebellion versus the Empire is very, very personal. What part of this seem personal to you? I don't even... Yeah, the beauty of this show. He even said it at freaking Star Wars Celebration. He goes, the beauty of this show is there's no way they'll kill me. Yeah, we know. We watched Rogue One and we were disappointed. Why is this... And they've already, there's gonna already the second season. It's, it's gonna begin shooting in November. Shortly after, it's gonna crash and burn. There's no stars in this. There's no, I, I just, I don't get it. I just, I can't, I can't even. I don't understand. What a cool poster this is about a guy I don't care about who's already dead. Thanks, thanks for that. Really enjoyed it. All right, let's go over to Willow. I've ranted enough about this. Oh, Willow. I do love me some Mad Mardigan, and I did really enjoy Willow as a child. I think I saw it. I know I saw it probably as a child. I, I don't remember. Like, we're just going for, you know, member berries at this point. Apparently, this has been in, in production since 2012. Ten years later, they're going to give us a Willow. I mean, at least... They didn't replace Warwick Davis with CGI little uh, little um, CGI creatures. At least they didn't do that to us. I thought they might, but they didn't. So good for them. I'm very excited for you. Uh, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other video where we talk about Snow White and not the Seven Dwarves because it's not going to have seven dwarves in it because they're being replaced by CGI animals. So why couldn't Warwick Davis get replaced by CGI animals? I don't know. Anyway, Warwick Davis, great actor. You may know him from such things as Star Wars and Willow and Leprechaun. Fantastic actor. Glad to see him in another show. I hope they don't like write him off in the first two episodes. Um, oh, what did I do? little unclear as to what this is. I mean, I like some of the visuals. Look kind of cool. But visuals at this point cannot save a show alone. Right? We've all seen really cool CGI. We don't need necessarily anything other than... Like, we need more than that. We need a good story. I don't really get what's going on here. Um, I like the idea of a journey. I like the idea of putting together a team to go on that journey. I recognize some of the things. I haven't seen this movie in so many years. I can't even remember. I recognize certain aspects of it, but you're going to have to do better than that. And Val Kilmer is not coming back as Mad Mardigan. He's just not. But the CGI doesn't look that great in this. It looks like kind of like Wheel of Time. So, and Wheel of Time, oh, look at that. And it's the, uh, oh, man, they hired that girl from... Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Why did they go and do that? And they're going to hug and kiss. From what I remember, the man Morgan forcibly tries to take a kiss from that chick and she beats him up for it. So don't, don't hug and kiss. Will I watch this? Probably for you because you like to see me angry. You'll get me watching this because, you know, I just like being angry. It... It's going to premiere, I guess it uh, looks like it's going to premiere November 30th. Again, revealed at Star Wars Celebration. Not Star Wars. Okay. This picks up years after the original movie. It's 
going to include brownies, sorcerers, trolls, whatever. I don't recognize... There's no one famous in this except for Warwick Davis. Okay. Not sure where they're going to go with the story. I should look up these writers. And they already lost their director. Their original directors, typical of Disney, John M. Chu and Jonathan Entwistle, left after they started direct like uh, Disney man what in the world is going on here I just I and and if you th the only thing I'll say about it is the official teasers there's nothing about it that excites me like I, I'm not excited by seeing this I'm just like what are they gonna do to this franchise not that Willow was ever a franchise it was just like a kind of fun movie so I don't know tell me what you think in the comments below are you excited for these do you think that this is just the absolute bo bottom of the barrel, the dreck. This is what we're doomed to see from now on. It's just garbage. I don't know. I will watch. I guess I'll watch. And or if you make me watch it, I'll watch it. If you guys request it, tell me in the comments below. You want me to watch it? If you won't, I will watch Willow just because I'll give it a shot. I try to. I'm gonna try to stay optimistic for these. I, I clearly I know I sound doom and gloom, but. That being said, I will give them a fair shake. And if they don't work out, I will let you know as I review many of these things that you probably shouldn't watch. But uh, anyway, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. You can download it anywhere for free on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, any of those fine places. You can get it for free. You can also catch our full-length live stream, which is on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Come hang out with us there as we party. And... You can also uh, check us out on Rumble or talk to us directly. If you want to talk to us on our social media, it's orc underscore you at Instagram. So orcs, just like you might see in Willow. Anyway, give us a like. Subscribe, please. We could really use the subscriptions. We love the likes. We love the comments. We respond to everything. But I am already on to the next one. Ah.